about you know, your interests on, on that end? Up in Canada, I grew up in Canada, and I used to volunteer at um, the National Film Board of Canada. And, you know, it's got a very strong animation uh, background, very strong animation reputation. Uh, I think it has something to do with the town that I grew up in. Uh, Winnipeg spends, like, upwards of six months, if not more, in the dead of winter. Mm -hmm. You know, long winters, very cold, 40 below. We're talking Ooh. giving Hoth a run for its money. Yeah, that sounds fun. Yeah, and so uh, there's something about Winnipeg that just produces a lot of indoor hobbies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For me as a director, I think the main thing I'm trying to do with every scene I'm directing is just find some life. It doesn't matter if an actor changes something and it's better or they want to change the blocking. Even if I can't get a certain camera angle, I would rather have something that feels real and there's something genuine and something alive about it. And so I think it's very important that you not squish that and that you let that breathe and you let there be an opportunity to just have something happen. I think with Star Wars, especially with it being the first television show, you really want to do it justice. So you do sort of feel the responsibility, but I think it's more making sure that everything sort of feels right to the world. For generations, my ancestors fought proudly as warriors against the Jedi. Now, that woman tarnishes the very name Mandalorian. Defend her, if you will. This lightsaber was stolen from your Jedi temple by my ancestors during the fall of the Old Republic. Since then, many Jedi have died upon its blade. Prepare yourself to join me. Sector is clear. Not clear, not clear. 